IMO. In my opinion. Before we start, right? Kang Daniel cameo. <laughs> <laughs> one more here, one more here. Oh, one more there. Wrapping <laughs> my, my 18 minutes. <laughs> okay, hi babes. So today we're gonna talk about JC and since he like differs from like school phone. to school. My phone's not fucking Okay, go. Hot inside! Like the money there. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! Okay, since the JC experience differs from like school to school, I have this 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 person, <laughs> my bestie. <laughs> this person um, from ECJC right here, yeah. She's from AC and I'm from NY, so um experience will differ and uh, there are like 20 more JCs around 10 plus 10 plus more JCs around Singapore so go us around go on Reddit <laughs> I saw seniors. So yes. They yeah. went to the school. First. Like the general timeline of JC because I know I went into JC not knowing anything. So yeah, I guess this is a good like thing for you to hear before you go go into JC and like get surprised by everything. Mm -hmm. You go in obviously you have your orientation. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> She was an orientation group leader as yeah, well. When I was in JC. Basically your orientation group leader will call you the mm -hmm. day before the orientation when you receive like your posting. Mm -hmm. Then the next day you'll just go orientation based on like the information you receive. So that's that. That's like orientation. So you have a, a like an orientation group. And then after that you have class orientation which is with your class. Oh okay. yeah. Because for oh, yeah. me, for AC, we stay in our OG, our orientation groups. Until we get our classes which is not as soon as Nanyang. So it was like just before March holidays, <laughs> I got my class posting. So then for the remaining of the week, maybe like three days. We stay in our class before we went for March holiday. So no bonding. Bonding is OT OT. Then during that orientation period, you get to choose your subject combination, mm -hmm. and uh, you also can take a test for like arts or like F math or yeah, like F computing. Math, computing. Yeah, right. Which both of us didn't take, obviously. Yeah, we were, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, not, we're not cut. We're not cut. Yeah, we're not cut. Yeah. And usually for yeah. orientation, it's the time where you, if you want to appeal out of the school, <laughs> that's when you do it. I was, I was personally very close to my orientation group, but then after it we drifted, you only find like a close group of friends in JC, to be honest. <laughs> that's true. It's like lectures start in a week or so after you enter, so um, yeah. be prepared to enter a hellhole. Uh. The lectures are probably quite chill at the start. Mm. But as you go along, obviously it will yeah. get more difficult and the things that you have to learn mm. will get more intense. I guess like it's only natural but try to find a click. <laughs> but once again, if you are okay with um, soloing it, yeah, no problem ahead. man. Huge respect. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, Basically, term 1 of J1 was a breeze. Mm -hmm. It was generally uneventful. Yeah. It's like you getting used to having lectures and like mm. tutorials kind Coming of thing. Coming to school. Oh, and CCA trials. Yes. Yeah. So for AC, there are I think about two to three weeks, if I'm not wrong, of CCA trials. Same, same, same. So uh, usually the trials are the days where the CCA has yeah has like sessions. Mm. So keep a lookout for all the trials that are around your school. Usually for me, in my OG, they will forward all those publicity messages. Even if you feel like maybe you want to give it a shot, you can just go ahead because just try know, just... I have a lot of friends and a lot of uh, OG mates that like, they were from this CCA but then they went like into a, a completely yeah, it's a 180 turn yeah. most of the time. Oh, then like there's also like student council selection and uh, nomination yeah. which is about the same for all, all schools I believe. Yeah, it's, it's like quite intense. Actually. It's like a presidential election. Yeah. So like, <laughs> like, it's a bit, I think this is them like trying to build um, up the next generation of politicians. Yeah. Yeah. So while other CCAs are trying and maybe on the same day of the trial you get a like, offer to join the CCA but for council because oh, you go through applications then you uh, like go to interviews mm -hmm. with the teachers yeah. and the council committee mm -hmm. and then uh, if you are if you pass that round and you're in this you'll be in this probation period then you'll just, just basically monitor your behaviour and how you are as like a leader. Yeah. Yeah. You, then you can leave that and then it shows you like what group, group you are. So uh, for AC you're grouped into I think about four or five. Yeah, so, so this is like your campaigning group, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, most of the time where they publicize you, right, it, it's always your team, you and your groupmates. Yeah, you're like together. Like, even though you're voted for individually, mm. you are promoting yourself and publicizing mm. yourself mm. as a group. So it's like a campaigning party. Then afterwards uh we will get to vote. I think the, for us, the students got to vote for the head. Um, the process is quite it's it's tiring yeah. actually. My friend goes like, like I see my friends, they stay back a lot to yeah. like, do presentations mm. or like, interviews or like, film publicity or this. So if you are willing to go through that process, then go ahead because I think it will be a really reaching experience. Yeah. That's an FI also. You are juggling like events on yeah. top of your studies. Yeah. yeah, then there will be like new leadership positions that mm -hmm. uh, arise, class committee. 
both of us were like involved in VIA in class. Mm -hmm. Plan <laughs> for external VIA, so yeah. we liars with external uh, like organizations and leadership positions in whatever other committees you join or CCAs after the senior mm -hmm. step down. So just look out for these opportunities and just go for it if you are like down. For term one, that's kind of it. Mm -hmm. Like their leadership selection will start at different timings, mm -hmm. you know. Term one is generally very chill. Mm -hmm. and it goes by quite fast yeah. actually. I don't know, from my experience, the, like, I had a very good sleep schedule and slept at like 11 every day. That's true, because you don't have a lot of homework. Yeah, yeah. And then like, but then the last week of the month, I suddenly have to rush a project. Then I stay up until like 12.30 and then that's it. I started sleeping at 3am and counting. And much holidays. Non-existent. You're basically doing everything but resting. Yeah, <laughs> you feel the workload. By the time you likely be in a CCA already, you likely have like, maybe camps or some sort of like, CCA sessions mm, during the week. Yeah. So, term 2 is, okay, the major leadership. thing for term 2 is, yeah, your leadership handover, mm. your mid-years, and then also for sports or like uh, your arts is like competitions, NSG, S O F. A lot of the teachers call it the CCA season. And ah, this yeah, is yeah. when they always promote like, okay, you need to have like a buddy system for your class to uh, make sure that your friends who miss out on lessons, they catch mm, up and all this. So, and like at the end of term 2, you'll have like, pro it depends from school to school mm -hmm. again. Um, But most schools have like their GP, GP exams yeah. before June holidays. And the yeah, rest of the, the, papers, yeah, the mid years yeah. after. So, yes. <laughs> Wait, what else is new? <laughs> yeah, then we have June holidays, which is... I mean, if you watch my vlogs, right, like from 2021, you'll know that it was just studying. Like, it was a, honestly a culture shock to us. Because really we was. didn't expect ourselves to be studying the entire one month. And month. you might also have CCA commitments during that yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and also, right, you all will have tests. Like, this is before the mid-year period. You all will have, like, mini tests for, for subjects, so... No, every subject have one. You <laughs> have also. Like, when you... Just when yeah, you yeah, have yeah. J1 term 3 is mid-year exams and first of all i'm not saying everyone will do badly but honestly i did very badly me too <laughs> but after me year exams i went through a post exam depression it took about five weeks to die down before i actually tried to get my shit together so it was i don't know, I don't know just try to encourage yourself okay mm. just let yourself know it's fine because there's still promos but then once again you will have like three thousand tests and mm. Made another commitment. But then after that is September holidays, which is all for studying once again. And you will like step down from CCA from there, mm. like for a while. La. Until promos finish. Yeah. But I think promos, like schools generally try to moderate it such that most people will promote. They can't like retain, retain, retain like <laughs> half the batch. So don't worry so much. For AC, oh, yeah. we had this uh, that's retain, advance, and promote. So promote obviously you go up to J2. Advance is you get to study for like a second test, like a diagnostic test, I think, when you when school reopens then they determine from there mm. whether or not like, like you need SSP which is like supplementary classes but it doesn't mean that you will retain unless you choose to they give you an option whether you want to and the promo criteria I think it depends for for each school but for our school yeah. it's uh, I think GP pass then 2H2 pass yeah, they don't want to retain a lot of people yeah. right? the so, more they yeah. retain the more expenses they have for yeah the promos PW okay that's, that's it though. so term 4 uh like five weeks, right? Five weeks, then you're going to promo. Then mm. after your promos, you get your PW, uh, like, like prep. OP exam, oh. all these uh, submissions and everything. So then you guys will end school mid November, around there to yeah. end November. School officially ends on like the 11th week or something of the four. We need to talk about PW because it's very major part of J1. PW starts when, when you get your classes. Yeah, so um, I think. I don't know, my teacher personally, like, by like the first few weeks of term 1, we chose our topics. And then like, we show A-level PW mm. questions in April of J1. Two questions y'all can choose from. And like, we just force fed our chosen topic into one of those questions. Mm. But each schools do it differently, yeah. you know? Um, we chose first, then we research. Yeah. Okay, for our year, the topic was phenomenon and transformation. So, very big word. Mm. The scope is very big. So, we just researched uh, according to our topic. Mm. Like, we give some proposals that each mm. one of us we propose an idea and then we see what it, we'll let our teacher vet and see whether it's okay. In fact, for my group, right, when everyone else has already decided on their topic, we had to change our topic completely because it was it just did not make sense. The fact that they already started their report and they have to change the thing, which is really, really time consuming and very troublesome. Yeah. So after you change the topic and your teacher says it's okay, you mm. start to write this thing called the WR, which is your written report. That happens like um, throughout the year. Yeah. For it us, it's throughout the year. Until like around September, like obviously during your promo period, like your PW they won't, like, won't you. Yeah, they won't bother They'll you. They'll let you like do yeah, your yeah. stuff. So, preparation for that mini yeah but the thing is you still have to come up with yeah. and then you have to vet the script and then you have to see like whether it's okay 
everyone you know can speak within the time limit pw generally is manageable because yeah. like after your promos right and then each school will definitely cater time for it yeah and like they'll make sure like their students do relatively well yeah. like. after promos they had this like two big for, for like, like just the pre PW, presentation like, OP, all this. like my school uh asked like the help from some gp teachers ah, yeah, yeah, and like yeah, yeah. other teachers that are free to like mm. help with the preparation and stuff which is amazing so you so, prepare enough right it will just come out like naturally yeah. yeah even though you can go in with the script how you present yourself like oh how you stand but how often you look at your script oh, eye yeah? contact it plays a very big role in your performance to the judge the examiners yeah. it, even though it's like a group presentation you are judged individually, individually yeah then you have to prepare slides. You also prepare your individual with your IR. Her school allowed script. Yeah. But my school didn't allow <laughs> script. So you must memorize everything. PW is internally graded. So yeah. you have like teachers that you have seen before in school, like mm -hmm. sitting in front of you. Yeah, yeah. But some teams receive like external invigilators. Yeah. Which is like the SEAB people come or something. I mean, there's a reputation that these groups get pro grade. Just try your best, you know what I mean? Just yeah. try your best. After OP there's like a there's like a question mm, Q and, and A. Q and A, yeah, Q and A. Wow, this one the okay. Okay, the thing is from school to school. I know a friend from Diamond that received 100 questions. Wait, hundreds like, of what? Like that can possibly be Oh, oh yeah, it's yeah. about like Five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine eight also, questions per speaker. Mine is like maximum like five, you know what I mean? You type out all your answers before yeah. the exam. To like brainstorm. Yeah. Once again, it depends from school to school. And my school would uh, follow the script and ask you one of the <laughs> questions that is Actually, mine's provided. About, mine's about the script. Chinese like mother tongue exams. We had mother tongue oral exams in July and then mm. the only thing I remember was like unable to get out of the hall, right? So I couldn't open the door and I kept pushing it, right? Then there were like some invigilator from other schools looking at me through the glass, right? Then I was like, oh, then he pushed it, then I could open it. No, if you fail, you have to take uh, basic Chinese yeah, in, in J2. J2, yeah. That's, that's kind of it. But so it was the same component. It was like oral listening complete for secondary school. school yeah. Yeah. After term 4, you'll be prepping for like open house. So that's when you also prep for orientation. Like there'll be like, yeah. a dry run for the games so that uh, and also get to know your fellow yes. uh, OGLs. Okay, for NY, we have like a exam at the start of the year. But uh, yeah, for like ad most other schools, <laughs> it's just like it's right before March holiday, so it yeah, yeah. it's like in the first term, but it depends when lah. You might want to consider using some of your holiday to study as well. J2 is just a, it's just very fast <sighs> until you step down from CCA. Yeah, then so after everything you step, goes even faster from Yeah, there. it goes even faster. You are more free, but you're also more busy. Yeah. All of a sudden, right, and somehow because you don't have mother tongue anymore, and you don't have PW, yeah. instead of ending at like 4 or 3, you end at like 1 or 2, just like, wow, it feels so good. It'll be the same as J1. It's J1, just that, after your prelims, mm -hmm. you have your levels. Yeah, that's okay. CCA, we talked about it already, mm -hmm. and like co curriculars and other opportunities. I think for most schools, there are like houses or stuff ah, that you yeah. can like join the ex school and stuff. But uh, like personal, external thing, yeah, yeah, personally, NY doesn't have houses. Most other schools have lah. Yeah, so you can join like those like leadership positions from mm -hmm. there. And then there are like interest groups. NY have interest groups. So um, I was in COSI, which is like a K-pop dance interest group. And I was in the EXCO. So that's where like my EXCO position came from. Mm -hmm. There's also many academic and non-academic like opportunities. For my school, I think most schools will send emails yeah. and opportunities. Yeah. Like you can intern. Mm. You can yeah, intern during like your holidays. Or like or the, the attachment programs. Scholarships. Yeah. Attachment. yeah. Or uh, there are other programs like personally I was involved in science research and like the NUS science research program then like some competition uh, opportunities will arise from these programs so go for them at the start of J1 if you if, if you can get in mm -hmm. so that um, you have something in your portfolio <laughs> Oh, and H3 subjects at the end of J1, mm. which both of us didn't take because we obviously didn't qualify. We were like, <laughs> arguing already. Yeah. Our current so if you're like really interested, like and you're like <laughs> stable in it, and, and like generally your grades must be okay, which yeah, obviously we won't. Because it's very important. I mean, if you do well in your prelims, you'll get um early admissions into uni. So um your school will choose. I don't know. For my school, it's top twenty five percent. Then they will just give them opportunity to apply for early admissions. Then they will send out your information to all the universities mm -hmm. I think only like four SUTD SMU and US NTU then these four unis will like see your profile and stuff la. then like email you if you if you got it mm -hmm. and then uh, you just like do your application ahead of others it di differs from university to university as well don't ask me I also don't know what I'm doing 
you also get a uh, like opportunity for scholarships lah. SAF oh yeah, SAF always, they always promote. Send you. Yeah, especially to women, right? Yeah. They really, they are really. They want to like give an education. Yeah, they and, like join the force, you know. Yeah, yeah it was no joke. Like every like yes. two weeks or every one week, I receive like an email from them. And then they, they send, send to your home. Yeah, they send to your home. Yeah, I was confused. I was like, I did not think I was, you know, going for a SAF scholarship. Yeah, but honestly, I like both of us didn't go because we're not interested. Yeah, but we're not interested. Okay, can we talk about having devices? In JC, it's actually quite important because yes, yes, number yes. one, some schools will like oh, have yeah. soft copy version or like, you know, if they upload past year papers, it may not be printed out. It may be all uploaded to like a, like a Google oh, website. No. Or Especially during the A-level period. I don't think yeah. like, because you're not going to meet your often. teachers. Yeah, you have not a study break. You have like official often. lessons. Yeah. So it's a, so like a consult basis. Yeah. They'll just upload and then you just do. Yeah. Okay, next is social, social life. life. I think both of us, I mean, it was okay. Yeah, like I felt that it was the same level as like secondary school. Just that, like as you move on from like one stage of life to another, you realize that you have more and more friend groups to manage. Yeah, and you have to like plan your time such that you can like meet one mm. every like few months Every's or so something. Often, yeah. yeah, and because a lot of your friends they tend to might. I mean, they might mm. be in different schools like poly, JC. Ah, yes, yes. Sometimes they may not have the same schedule mm. as you guys. Find a way to coordinate, though. We are yeah. having troubles coordinating with our yeah. friend group that is like seven, seven, eight people. Yes. Yeah. Like both of us are not from IP school, so we didn't go to the same JC and stuff. But I think it is actually a blessing in disguise because you have like different stories from so many different JCs yeah, and definitely. different like poly. It is amazing. Like you have the tea from everywhere. Like, actually, actually, each other. actually, actually stories. Yeah, it's it's so it is amazing. Yeah, I think that's the best part about going to JC for me. It was you like, might find out that you have a lot of mutual friends. Like, yeah. hey, you know this guy? Singapore hey, is you know so cool. Okay, last one. Imposter syndrome. <laughs> I'll put the definition it. here. I, I think I saw a video about imposter syndrome. No, I was like, yeah, that's me. But it's like, <laughs> what? Because like, because I came into JC with like, generally good results like from O-level. I was expecting myself to do like, generally okay, like at least B's, right? But no, it, everything was like D's and C's, bro. So I was and like, E's and S, uh, whatever. Like. I'm I'm constantly like, wow, why did NY accept me? Like, oh. at the, like they obviously know your O-level results. So I think I'm like, a huge di disappointment. But it's okay. Huh? <laughs> yeah, like they expect, like, because you're, you came in with this result, they expect you to value add to like, certain... Certain, certain level right mm. but obviously did not meet that level so I I just feel bad for the school yeah. <laughs> and also like am I even like what if I went to like another school instead you know what I mean yeah I don't know what they expected of me but I don't think I met their expectations so I'm very sorry but I did whatever I could and I can't I enjoyed my two years in JC so I guess that's what is important lah okay your, your turn <laughs> Eat your potato chip. <laughs> I thought it was I think there came a period of time where I just did not think that I could even succeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the whole like, well, what if I don't promote? There's a lot of what ifs that go to your mind. Mm. What if I don't graduate JC? Mm. Like, what if I don't do it for A levels? Where do I go? Like, this is not the only thing that was running through your mind in like the whole JC life because you, at the same time, have a lot of commitments. So you have a million other things to think about. Especially when you sat down from CCA in J2, it's when you really start thinking. Yeah. Because you're so academically like driven and centric. And then you need to consider like all the uni or like yeah, other what you want to do yeah, and yeah. all this. Like, that was like the start of where you, like what your future holds for you. Even though you, you know, haven't finished A levels. There was really a period of time like, because prelims comes around, then it's uh, A levels already. Then it's like, oh, obviously prelims will be like harder than the like, A levels usually, right? Then you're like, Ah yeah, it's okay. It's just prelims. It's like you have this uh like it's okay, there's like a second chance. Then when A level comes, you're like, like you're like, oh no, like oh, it's really quite bad. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> la, like why this my natural, I don't make it, then where do I So it's like it's a very it, it was a very like big toll on my on our mental yeah, health. Yeah. I think everyone goes through something hmm. similar because So you just have to get prepared. Yeah, as long as you like feel like you're not good enough, you don't think that you can succeed. Just have a bit of faith, go through it with your friends, yeah, talk yeah. about it with your friends, your teachers, whoever you need to, and then do your best. Because that's when you're gonna regret, if you don't put in your best foot. That concludes our JC experience. Mm -hmm. wow. It's over, honestly. Yeah, it is. I'm so glad it's over. But yeah. it, it was a very... When people say it's tough, it's really tough. And over the day, everyone's going through the same thing. That's what I come to realise as well. Even though we went to different schools, she experiences the same thing. I hope you enjoyed this inside two video. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a mess because we are like, like, we not in the drank. right mind actually. We just drank. Did we just pick it up? Pick it up and eat it. Oh my I'll god. I'll pick it up later. Bye! Bye. See you in the next one. Next IMO. <laughs> IMO.
Hi Mo. Hi Mo. <laughs> I just learned the series name today, like right now. Bye bye. <laughs> it's one hour, yeah. <laughs>